Hi everyone, it's Eva and welcome to my channel Revy Plus. In today's episode, I'm going to show you how to customize a curtain wall panel. Um, so let's start it. First, we are going to open uh, a, Revit, a new Revit model. We go to open, uh, sorry, we are going to go to new, so cancel, so new. And I'm going to take just by default, I'm going to open uh, architectural template. Yes, let's say, okay. Okay, I'm here. The only thing that we are going to do is just, we are going to make a wall, just a wall. And okay, it's opening now. So one second, okay. So now we can go to our wall, architectural wall, and we are going to just for now, just find any um, basic, basic wall, generic wall that we have. Um, sorry, uh, the properties are off. Okay. So here, okay. So uh, let's say that we want, um, let's find any, this one, for example, we are going to create this wall. Okay. That's it for now. Okay, so now we are going to create the family for this wall. And this wall for now is just is a generic wall, but we are going to change after. Okay, so we are going to create a family, a family wall. So we are going to go to file and the new family. And when we have, uh, we go to families, we have, we have to scroll down and we are going to select the metric curtain wall panel. We are going to select that. Let's say OK. OK, so now it's opening. OK, so uh, keep in mind that always I'm working in millimeters. Um, but if you want to work in meters, you have to change the units. By default, always all my rabbits and templates are in millimeters by default. OK, if you want to change the units, you have to double click in BB units and then you will change to millimeters, switch for inches or meters, etc. Okay, in this case, we are in millimeters and I'm going to show you, we are going to just add um, a dimension because this wall, from, now, from this grid line to this, this grid, sorry, from this reference line to this reference lines, we have 3,000 3, meters, so 3 meters. Um, okay, so what well, we are going to just leave it. Let's say that just we are going to do like a, a big, big panel, three meter panel, and it's fine. Okay, so now we are going to uh, the tool create. We are going to create an instruction. Click in instruction, and then we are going to just go. We are going to create a line here. Maybe let's say forty five degrees. Um, yeah, let's say for the five degree and we are going to to or middle uh, line. We are going to make a mirror with this. So this mirror for this on the other side. And now we are going to create a little offset uh, for this element. 10 millimeters is fine. So we can create 10, 10 millimeters for this panel. That's fine. We are going to create um, a little line here from here to here so TR for trim yes and then here we are going to create another line here a small line TR for trim okay so now we have this and uh, that's it that's it so very simple shape and let's say okay Yes, so now if we want to make a parametric, uh, this, this panel that we have here, we are going to click in this um, element with in the dimension. We are going to click here and we are going to go to this little icon here where is create parameter. Double click here. And here we can just say any name, for example, uh, panel, uh, mm, uh, panel, um, we can say dim the dimension let's say okay so now because 
having this parameter, we can flex the family after. So for example, now it says we see if I move my panel to, for example, if I move here, okay, I can see that it's flexing. And because we have the equal between the, the center line, uh, we, between this line and this line, we have the equal the equal dimension here. So that means that every time when I move this this element to any dimension, for example, I'm going to move again to one uh, one five hundred. Oops, sorry, oops, cancel. I want this dimension as a one five zero zero. Yes, so both are moving at the same direction. So it's just so keep in mind now that we have a panel and it's three meters uh, wide. The panel. Another thing that we need to go, we need to go to 3D for this element. We are going to view 3D view 3D by default, and we will see that the panel is just only in one level. So if we go to the any any view any elevation, sorry. We will see that this is disconnected with the next uh, level or the next uh, reference line. So we are going to connect that with a click align. Click here first in the in the level and then click in the 3D instruction. And we are going to lock this here. Yes, now it's locked. Now if we move this level, we have four meters. If for example I want three meters five hundred, just it's like this. Okay, perfect. So now the family is working. And so if you go to the 3D view, this is how we see. Okay, that's fine. So now what we're going to do, we are going to save this family. So go to file, save as, and uh, as family. And we can save in any, any folder that we for example, now I just I created this folder. I call it generic, and I'm going to say generic, uh, generic uh, courting um, wall, um, courting wall three meters, uh, three millimeters. Okay, save it. Okay, so now once we have this, the panel is saved. Uh, we are going to load in our project. So load into project. We have only one project open. So just Revit automatically reads that you have just only one. So now our family is here. So what we are going to do now, we are going to click in our uh, wall that we created. And uh, notice that our wall is more than three hundred three three meters because otherwise it's not going to work because our panel family is really is three meters. So we have to have more than three meters. So we, if we have 20, so it's plenty enough uh, space. So we are going to change this wall for a courting wall. So we are going to go scroll down, wall, scroll down, and we are going to select courting wall exterior glazing. We are going to create. So now we have the courting wall here. And then we are going to click in our courting wall and edit type. We're going to click in edit type. And then we are going to say that you, we know that the spacing is three meters, three meters, because this was the, the distance that we created in our module. So we have to have three meters. And now in courting panel is the one that we did. We did a courting panel. So we will scroll down. Uh, yeah, until find the courting panel, generic courting wall wall three meters which is the one that we created and we'll say apply and we'll say okay so now if you can see as I said it very it's, just, it's very very basic but this you can create any shape that you want and bear in mind the always that you have to control is uh, because we have the panel created was every three meters but in the family you have to control and and as well we can we can change this because we have a parameter to flex the family. But for now, I'm going to show you the result for this wall, which is, is this one. Uh, okay, so we are going to remove the levels for now. Just let's say levels, just turn, turn off the levels. I don't want to see levels, so, but this is the result. So it's very easy. And the good thing is uh, if you, if you want to, for example, if we go to the top view, 
we can create and we can make a, a we can extrude we can treat this as it's a wall it's a curtain wall yes so yes and we we always we have to work in um uh in modules based on three meters or multiples of three meters so okay i hope you like this video and please click and like and subscribe and i see you in our next video thank you bye